Hi guys, how you doing? A little bit different video today. Today we're gonna talk about Warren Buffett and Warren Buffett buying oil. So everybody's looking at the articles like this, you know, and try to copy what Warren Buffett is doing. Now, the reason we're gonna talk about Warren Buffett and oil because oil is surging towards the upside. Everybody's talking about, uh, you know, oil, and it's going towards the upside because of Russia-Ukraine war. So you know, I'm gonna tell you what I think might happen with the oil price a little bit later. Uh, that said, yesterday we had a live stream where we talked about. You know that you should not always look at these rich people or these smart people and try to copy them because they are not always wrong so i'm going to show you one time you know warren buffett was wrong and he's not the perfect trader so i'm going to also show you that uh so let's start and see what uh, warren buffett did do and the reason i'm actually making this video is because i didn't find this on cbnc i find this in uh, in the financial news uh, in norway and i thought it was interesting that they were talking about it so let's see what's happening so warren buffett bought occidental uh, uh, occidental petroleum for 1.5 billion uh, worth of shares but he also last week bought 4.5 billion of sh uh, shares as well so totally uh, 6 billion share uh, shares and this is not small portion of his uh, portfolio if you look at his portfolio up here you'll see down here occidental petroleum corporation is around two percent uh, now uh, the big ones are of course uh, Apple at 43%, the Bank of America Corp at 12, then you got these 7% uh, uh, America Express and Coca-Cola and the rest is 3.8 and uh, lower but you know 6 billion, 6.8 billion worth of shares in uh, in uh, Occidental Petroleum Corporation is not a small small part of his portfolio so that said is technically i think he believes that this might continue towards the upside and it will continue towards the upside but warren buffett has been wrong before and he even says you know amazon stock he he, he regrets not investing in amazon stock but what he says you know he's trying to keep himself in the you know the bubble of his uh, confidence so uh, you know, as he calls it so he tries you know not to do it so he doesn't know much about technology and stuff like that so he didn't do amazon but you know he's been wrong before about you know what trades to take what trades not to take and so forth so forth uh one time n not so long ago in 2020 when there was a corona dump big corona dump warren buffett what did warren buffett do he bought more Delta Airlines. So, you know, uh, Corona pandemic is coming. Uh, you know, airlines, uh, you know, is China is shutting down airlines. Italy is sh shutting down, not, not, not airlines. China is shutting down cities. Italy is shutting down cities. And I'm telling my wife, like, I'm, I'm wondering why markets are not crashing. Like, this this is serious. This, this is a big, something big is happening. Like, and nobody's, uh, nobody dares, uh, you know, uh, to go anywhere because, you know, you, you don't know if you, you can come back. And this guy goes and buys airline stocks. Now, he already held Delta Airlines. He already owned a lot of airline stock. But uh, when coronavirus came and, you know, it went down 20%, he thought it was cheap and he bought because he thought this was a temporary thing and it's going to recover. So, even though he's rich and smart, he cannot predict the future, so he does make mistakes. And what did he do? He sold the stocks. How Warren Buffett airline stocks have performed since back Berkshire Hathaway sold them? Now, he sold them in... Uh, 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 Berkshire had the decision to dump all of its airline holdings in May 2020. So, let me show the chart of how, uh, how, how it looks like. So this is the chart of uh, Delta Airlines, and this is the Corona dump, of course. And around he he's he bought more 20% when it dumped down 20% down here somewhere around 46. He bought more because he thought this was you know some kind of a some kind of a temporary thing. You can see the 200 moving average up here. It went below that, and he thought, "Hey man, this is cheap. Let's buy more." He bought more, and what happened in May 2020, all the way down here, 2020, May 2020, he sold everything. So it was it was going down. It was going down like crazy. So he cannot do technical analysis, and whoever he, you know you know bought to uh, do technical analysis for him probably didn't advise him well because as soon as he sold it rallied like 150 percent towards the upside if he had been managed you know to hold to the fear down here he would probably get back his money up here now it's going towards downside and it's still bad, bad buy or airlines are bad buy right now especially with the war and everything going on and uh, you know it, it's still a bad buy but he he could have recovered the money but you know like everybody else he thought this is gonna continue to to zero or something like that right so he was fear and he bought he did not believe in the stock that much and he bought at uh, sold at the very bottom so you can see even the even the smartest people and you know richest people do make mistakes 
So this is just one of the times when I, uh, I've seen that, you know, they have done bad trades. They have done bad trades. So when war you see some kind of article like this that says, you know, Warren Buffett is still buying petroleum oil, it's going up. A lot of people might think, you know, hey, if this rich and smart guy is buying, you know, oil, maybe I should be buying oil as well because it's going to go towards the upside. This is the, you know, uh, the thing about uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Ukraine war, because right now there is war, you know, people are expecting more problems and stuff like that, right? And you know, they expect, you know, uh, oil to surge even up to 300 bucks or something like that. I think that's uh, crazy, but let's examine that a little bit right now. Now, the fact that people are calling some high prices, that should be the first warning signs a sign for you. Anytime you see some kind of euphoria, in, you know, and euphoria can pre hit pretty quick, right? Right now, you know, all this surging towards upside, euphoria, or everybody owning any kind of petroleum stock is in euphoria right now because they think it's gonna can continue towards upside. And I'm not saying it can uh, cannot continue towards upside, but I mean, Warren Buffett, boy, he, he probably is right. I mean, he's smarter than me, he's richer than me, so he probably uh, will be right. Uh, but there is other way to look at it as well. We have to understand what's happening in the uh, Ukraine-Russia uh, war right now. And you can see here that, you know, we don't have to understand everything, but the economical part we have to understand. Uh, NATO cannot attack Russia because Russia is not attacking any uh, kind of NATO uh, country and uh, NATO is a purely defensive. Uh, defensive organization that said as long as Russia doesn't take any kind of you know Poland or Latvia or something like that nothing is gonna happen they cannot go the only thing they can do is send uh, you know uh, equip equipment and uh, you know ammunition and uh, you know supplies to Ukraine and hope they survive this right but what they can do and what they did is put uh, economic sanctions on Russia they're trying to destroy Russian economy and they not just trying to destroy it a little bit they're trying to destroy it 100 percent so you have to understand that right now what's happening in russia is they, they put all kind of uh, all kind of sanctions on it they uh, are pulling out their own company out of uh, out of the uh, out of the russia they are doing everything to crack the economy of russia now russia's economy is built on oil and gas right if you see here how much oil and gas for russia income According to Javier, uh, some Bloomberg guy, uh, Asha is running 350, 200, so around 500, 550 million per day, per day. On March 3rd, 2020, Europe paid 720 million for Russia for gas alone. So 720 million just for gas. So they, 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 they that, like every two days they are making 1 billion, right? So that's like 150 billion, 150 billion a year at least. 150 billion give or take for gas and oil every single year right and if the price of oil continues to go rise towards the upside it's it's normal to assume you know that they're gonna be liking this right now russia now, now europe still is you know still needs russian oil and gas and uh, this might continue and that's why we don't see any kind of sections on oil and gas in russia but here's a big but since you know the west trying to you know put economic sanctions on russia and they know that oil and gas is a big part of you know uh, russia economy and they're trying to you know kill it that means that maybe they have some kind of plans on how to do that so maybe just maybe in the west might make plans make deals with nations they normally don't do deals with to get the oil and gas from them or increase the production you know the OPEC might increase production stuff like that right so there are there are other options that can be examined to lower the price of oil, oil towards the downside why and this is the big this is the big the way I see this is the big uh, big thing right because they want Russia to strangle Russia with economic sanctions and all the way to do that is you have to stop oil and gas once you stop oil and gas they got nothing left right they got themselves, but they, I, I mean, oil and gas is a big, uh, big chunk of their income, right? And I think if they're gonna do that, they have to, you know, stop oil and gas, and that's why I think it might go towards the downside. That said, that said, let me just look at a chart. That said, this is the chart of UK oil right now. You can see here, euphoria got pretty big. We got a big move towards the upside. 
uh, and right now you had a big move back towards downside so you know we hit here 138 we are down at something like 23 percent and right now we are below this uh, 10 moving average so will this continue towards the upside will this you know because uh, the more it goes towards the upside it helps russia and you know that you know dollar is called petrodollar for a reason everything is about oil in the world wars are being made by uh, because of the oil so if they want to uh, you know nuke russia with economic sanctions i think they might want to push the price of oil towards the downside so just because you read some kind of article like this some kind of article this warren buffett is buying oil you have to think for yourself a little bit right you have to think for yourself what might and might not happen like what i'm saying that i think you know the the the, the oil stock might go down because they want to you know strangle the russian economy doesn't have to be you know legit and maybe he knows more than i know i don't know man i don't know but to me to me this looks like you know i don't know what to call it i don't know what to call it but you know there has been a lot of talk about oil there has been a lot of talk about you know it, it just might explode towards the upside but the way i see it yeah like there are other options west have right uh they can west has certain enemies in iran and uh, venezuela and stuff like that right and they might do deals with these you know these nations just you know surpass the oil from russia and gas from russia right and you know kill on the downside anyways guys it was a little bit you know a little bit different video i don't know what i want to try to say with this but you know rich and smart people don't always know whether he knows right now or not i don't know maybe he knows maybe he doesn't know i think it might go down he thinks it might go up so we'll see how this actually plays out we'll see how this actually plays out but oil is very volatile however you turn it around uh you know opec does one meeting and suddenly oil is going you know through the you know th through zero to the zero you know next day they do another meeting and it's going you know to the sky because you know they stop you know pumping oil there is enough oil the question is you know how much are we gonna pump because they're trying to keep it you know stable around certain price <sighs> okay guys that's it a little bit different video i don't know why okay see you around bye bye